Hello guys, today I wanted to show you guys how to do a ultrasound assessment of the rotator cuff, primarily the supraspinatus, which is the most commonly injured tendon in the shoulder. So I'm going to jump right to it. I have my model here, it's actually a medical student, it's also uh, my brother, a retired professional baseball, so I, I want to use him because he has a beautiful looking uh, rotator cuff on the left, but on his throwing arm, he actually had an old rotator cuff tear. So I'll be able to show you what a normal plus an abnormal one looks like. So the first thing is we want to position the, the, the patient to visualize the supraspinatus. We want to put the hand in our hip and we call the modified crest position. And then we want to rotate our elbow as back as possible. What this does is that takes the supraspinatus right under the acromion and makes it easier to visualize. Using a high resolution linear ultrasound probe, uh, after we, we have set our settings into the machine, we're going to start to, I mean, I'll back a little bit more, thank you. We're going to find my, we're going to start imaging my um, supraspinatus. So I'm going to increase my depth here because he has some muscle. The first thing that we want to do is to find the most anterior uh, fibers of the supraspinatus. And we do that by finding the bicep, especially the bicep as it goes through um, and is going to make the attachment at the, at the uh, labrum. But the moment that we see the bicep here, we're going to start to rotate our probe, or not rotate our probe, move our probe posteriorly slowly until we see the peak, the peak of the um, graded tuberosity of the humerus. And at this point, we are seeing the anterior fibers of the supraspinatus. And we can see a nice fibular structure there. I'm actually going to try to make that image a little bit bigger. Um, there it is. And at this point, we continue to scan posteriorly so we could visualize the full fibers of the supraspinatus. There it is. As I'm going now back more anteriorly, we could actually also see the, the uh, bursa. Always want to make sure we correct for anisotropy on this tendons because it does tend to happen. Um, so we don't want to overcall a pathological area. Again, I'm going to come back to uh, the most anterior fibers. There they are. And that's a beautiful looking supraspinatus. The other thing that we always want to do when we're evaluating tendinopathy or tendons in general, we want to rotate our probe and we want to make sure that we everything we see, we look at it in orthogonal view. And at this point, we are going to find the bicep on the right side of the image. And we're going to continue to scan our supraspinatus, our rotator cuff tendon. So there it is. Now, because I, I'll have him and I know he had an old rotator cuff pathology, I want to compare it so you guys could see what an abnormal one looks like. So <clears throat> I'm going to take a picture of this and I'm going to have him rotate and we're going to image his contralateral side. I'm going to put a little bit more gel in here in the same position. We are going to see immediately his pathological area. Again, if we, if we move anteriorly, we could scan the full width of that super, uh, the supraspinatus and there it is. We start to see cortical changes consistent with an old rotator cuff tear. Thank you so much. Hope you guys enjoyed the video um, and you found this uh, informative.